so hey what's up guys welcome back to the channel and in this video we're gonna see the latest the first released update for redmi note 10 pro and in this update we got see some new and better changes and stability over there so if you are new to this channel and watch this content regarding you must watch this video until the last and then decide to subscribe or not so let's get started to the video so here's the about section of the dubfest room and as you can see that it is based on latest android 13 with the latest tango version is in there the maintenance is nutella dev and thanks nutella dev for maintaining this room we got the fifth may security update although we can see the next update with the june ones and this is the kernel version used in Vantop kernel and sealed exchanges enforcing. Now talking about that, let's talk about first of all network internet settings. So I haven't faced any of the issues. I used my GeoCom card and haven't faced any so sort of issues over there also. Now talking about the app section, you get the everything available here. You get the pa parallel space option is there, app capability changes is being also there default apps is there and you get the dub launcher which i will talk about in the later part of the video so far now talking about those things uh this is the dub space option you get the battery settings and you can see that that is with working fine there is much more customization available as you can see that the traffic indicator isn't been showing because there is no connection over my device whenever i enable the wi-fi you can see that it is gonna work fine over there now this is the miscellaneous section and you get the all the options available like notification count, colored icon, that all the things were working fine so you are not getting any sort of issues in that part also there. This is the notification option with the reticker and the quick settings is there. We can customize over the reticker settings and you can select the brightness slider always that it will gonna work. Never show, you can see that it will not gonna show. So. This is the battery estimates in QS panel as you can see that it is not showing currently because it is not working. Now this is a clear all notification button and if I select you, you can see that it has been working over there. So you are not getting any sort of issues with the clear all notification option. And this is the animation style you can select the flip, rotate and what you like so ever and it has been working over there. This is the lock screen UI you can select and which type of unit you want, the color and everything you can customize. This is always on display. Ambient wake gestures is been there. Battery bar when charging is also been available. This is the general settings and you can see that there is Android P animation style means Android Pi. In the customize section you can see the UI styles you can select according to uses like project optronic and if I just select this you can see that whole UI gets changed so far. So it totally depends on you. You can see that next orders is there, pace leggers is there, but I can select the default because I like default ones. This is the icon pack. You can select over there. There is a single icon pack and this is also good. This is the icon shape and you can select monet option is being there. So you can check out at your own. I will not talk about the monitor ones now. No. For the battery usage, here you get a kill background processes option, adaptive battery option, battery usage option and all the things above there. This is a sound vibration option. You get the per app volume control, additional settings. These were some one of the ones. And in the display, normal takes way there. Enable blur. If you disable this, your device surpasses, uh, what do you say, little jerk. But if you enable, you can face sometimes a little jerk. You can select the desktop mode and this is new desktop mode on PC. You can select like desktop mode on PC if you select and when you select on start now and stop now, it will gonna work. But you have to just go to this website and connect your device to there also. And this is a new thing that you are also gonna like. So it is being easily working. I have not checked but I will surely check out that and pin the notification that it has been working in on in comment section. In the security option you get the face and fingerprint unlock auto reboot the device will automatically reboot after uh, what do you say uh, 24 hour 36 hour 48 hour but if you select the 24 hours or 12 hour it is better because everyone used to reboot their devices at least twice a day so it will get not affected by any sort of viruses or that this is the password and account section is the systems option you get the gestures buttons usb configuration like file transfer is there the first updater you can flash 
you, whenever new update comes it will provide it there but my in my recommendation flash the normal method no dirty flash is being recommended from my side now this talking about the smoothness so you can see that i have switched to 120 hertz and there isn't any lag so far you are getting also the leica camera support and there isn't any what is a green tint the 4k 60 fps is also there but it is does not work you get the 64 megapixel mode and that is working all around fine you get the all the things dual video option is being there so that is been working so there isn't any issues the leica camera has been working now you also got the dolby atmos support over there and it is also been working i had listened some of the music and it works now talking about some of the benchmarks that i have took so far and First of all, I would like to start from the what is the safety net status. The safety net status does pass. The L1 second T level of DRM is being provided. You are getting HDR10 capabilities over the Netflix, and the wildlife score is 1112. Slingshot is being available, so you can see that the scores are pretty much good over there. This is again the Android benchmark. I does not feel that it is best. It is the average scores that you can think about that. This is story speed test and this is the CPU throttling test. Although I am satisfied this, but I can't recommend those who uses the banking apps and there is day to day. It is not heavy battery centric custom room, but if you want to get customizations and smoothness and so on, you can must try out. Otherwise, you can also check out the ROS video that I have given a few times ago. That is also good. So this is all for now. I can recommend this, but only those who have do not battery problems if you have battery problems don't do want to use that so if you really did enjoyed watching the video and give a thumbs up to this video and also subscribe to this channel i'm not making videos such a long time because i'm not good but from tomorrow or today itself i will gonna try to make videos as soon as possible i will give it to youtube so and also i bought this poco x5 pro and i will gonna unbox this device soon as possible i can feel right so i'll surely make the video over there so thanks for watching till then